Hi there, this is a, a video about whiteboard.fi, which is a, an online free piece of software. Uh, there's also a paid version as well with some more tools to it. Um, but it's a piece of software that allows you to create digital whiteboards, but it works a little bit different to sort of some of the other packages, such as um, maybe as a teacher, you're used to using something like uh, Microsoft's whiteboarding software, as you can see, uh, I use this quite a lot. It's a really good sort of comprehensive piece of software for, uh, whiteboards and with this I can create a whiteboard just for myself or I can share it in teams meetings with students um, I could also allow students to collaborate on it but essentially it is one kind of whiteboard obviously you can have a collection as, as I have here but there's only one version of this uh, whiteboard that's kind of being used um, the difference with Whiteboard FI um, is it tries to sort of mimic uh, this idea of giving students their own whiteboard. So you'll have, a, as a teacher, you have a main whiteboard and each of the students have their own board. Uh, and this is where I find this useful. This is something I kind of do when I'm doing starters in a class. Um, when I'm in school, I would typically have a starter on the board. So if students, as they arrive, they would come in, they'd see the question on the board, so they'd get their own little uh, whiteboards out and pens that they have or collect one from the front pre-COVID um, and they could answer sort of a, a question there and I wanted to be able to do something similar to that but in a remote sort of learning setting. So how do we sort of start? Well first thing as a teacher you can just go to this website whiteboard.fi say that you want to have a new class um, and let's just kind of just H test and that will create for you a new whiteboard. Okay, and here's the whiteboard uh, there. It generates um, a web address uh, for that whiteboard and it also generates a QR code and each room has its own code. So students can uh, either access it by going to whiteboard.fi and typing in the code, they can follow the link, or if they're on a phone or something, they could use the uh, QR code. Um, as a teacher, um, when you're on here, there's obviously you can use the, the typical sort of features that you would expect of a sort of pen and maybe drawing shapes and grabbing in sort of images and typing in text, etc. So all of the tools you expect of a digital whiteboarding software. Um, I don't intend to really go through those with you. What I actually want to do is show you how it works for um, students uh, and how it works in a sort of class way um, when you're perhaps doing remote learning. So let's kind of go back to the, the point where we've got our web address here of the different um, grabber something up on the screen. There we go. Finally. Okay. So now I've got kind of teams up on there and I can jump in and I can paste in the web address uh, for students like that and they'll be able to access it through um, a shortcut. Um, or if we kind of go back to uh, here, what I could do is I could kind of grab a screenshot of the QR code um, and I could paste that quickly back into the Teams meeting as well. And students would be able to sort of uh, access that either through the code, through the link or through the QR code. Let's just assume for a moment that we're maybe going to get students to uh, access it through a phone and let's see what it kind of looks like for them. So if they're going to use the QR code, they would come up and they would sort of grab that from their Teams meeting on their phone and that'll take them to uh, the whiteboard.fi site on their phone and in here they have to type in uh, their name and then join the class. So they've now just sort of joined a class and they can kind of see a copy of your whiteboard um, and then have their own whiteboard. Okay, so what does that look like for um, students then? Well, or oh, sorry for the teacher. Well, you can see now, I can see that I can see Bob's whiteboard on here. And if I was to sort of, as Bob to sort of do something on that whiteboard, uh, eventually we'll see it kind of appear uh, on the teacher's collection of whiteboards. And you can imagine if you've got a whole class here now, you can have a whole class of uh, whiteboards that appear up there. So let's imagine what I wanted to do was set this uh, question to students as a sort of starter. What I can do is I can grab a, a screenshot of that, I can pop back to here and paste it in. Um, and students will be able to sort of either toggle to sort of see my questions like so, um, or if I really wanted to, I could jump on here and I can say, push that to the background of the students' uh, whiteboards and it would appear on here. 
Um, and then what can happen is I can be just sort of watching as students uh, go through and they maybe start to uh, go through the questions. Let's have a little look. What have we got here? So do, 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 that's going to be a loop. Uh, that one, and that one, like so. Okay, and I can just see what students are doing on their um, screens there. Um, and if I wanted to, I could go and sort of uh, draw on here myself and just sort of uh, say, yeah, these were the answers that you should have had. So that would have been a for loop. That would have been a while loop, uh, for loop, while and a while loop, like so. And students can go and see my answers kind of uh, that I've just done on there. Um, I hope that helps. Um, I found that really quite useful as a tool, as a starter in uh, remote learning lessons. Thank you very much for watching.